Now we'll talk about pawn succession. Pawns don't last forever. As water runs downhill through the pond's watershed, it picks up small bits of soil and anything else that can be moved. This erosion deposits sediment into the pond, filling it with soil and other materials, making the pond shallower over time. Decaying plant and animal material will also accumulate on the pond bottom, adding more materials and enriching the sediment with even more nutrients. Plants thrive in the rich sediment. They grow, and they take up more and more space. In time, the pond will become a wetland. As it fills even more, it becomes a wet meadow. Now, this natural process is called pond succession. Here's an illustration. The surface water that fills the pond can also carry pollution into the pond. Soil and plant nutrients such as fertilizer washed down from homes and fields can be pollutants. Too much fertilizer unbalances the way in which nutrients naturally cycle through the pond's ecosystem. A common result is too much plant and algae growth. This process of excessive nutrient input and subsequent plant and algae growth is called eutrophication. When excessive amounts of plants or algae die all at once, it can create an unnaturally high level of anaerobic decomposition that can use up all the dissolved oxygen in the water. This can even be so extreme that some fish in the pond become stressed and may even die from lack of oxygen. Now every body of water is only as clean and healthy as the water that drains into it from off the land in the watershed. Because of this, good watershed management is important to keep a pond or lake healthy. Stopping excess erosion and runoff loaded with fertilizers, pesticides, or other pollutants is the most effective way to maintain a healthy pond or lake. Keeping a buffer of plant growth around the pond can also filter out pollutants and sediment before they reach the pond. A plant buffer can improve the health of a pond or lake and extend its life. In Texas, most ponds are built by people who want the benefits healthy ponds provide, so they often take action to maintain ponds, including removing sediments or planting grasses around the edges.